Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, November 27th, and we are going to be going through another day in the winter build series. I've been ready to mix up my electrolytes and my creatine, and then we will get to breakfast and go through what the rest of today kind of looks like. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? All right, so I got breakfast cooking up in the background. I'm going to quickly go over my morning supplements that I take. Most of it is in the shaker cup, but number one, I just started getting back into it because I feel like it's pretty crucial to use it over the build series, and that is creatine monohydrate. Just taking the cheap stuff. This is a body tech, 100% pure. Picked it up this weekend, uh, last week, and just using that. I use a pre and probiotic gummy. I haven't been using this one for long. I kind of dabble around to try to find out which one works best for me. Personally, I don't think this is the one for me. I've still been dealing with some, uh, some bloating and I'm currently dealing with it right now. So unfortunately, I'm gonna say this one's probably an L. Usually for my electrolytes, I've been using BPN's electrolytes and I actually just ran out, but I switched over to this Rise uh, BCAA Focus. I picked this one up just out of curiosity. I like the sound of a Country Time Lemonade flavor, but it still has 320 milligrams of sodium, whereas the BPN is 500. It's looking like it's mostly from potassium and pink Himalayan sea salt. It doesn't sound like it's gonna be a, a terrible source of sodium, so I'm gonna try it out for a while, see how it is. All right, so going over what we got for breakfast. Of course, nothing has changed here. We still have our 12 ounces of coffee with zero sugar French vanilla creamer. But on the plate, we have the usual suspects, the cottage cheese and four eggs. And this time we got ketchup on top instead of American cheese, simply because I'm trying to cut back the sodium a little bit early. I'm gonna be having a navel orange and I have three rice cakes. Two of them are lightly salted, and the other one is caramel corn. So I'll put the macros up on the screen. Like I said, not a whole lot's changed. I'm just trying to toy with some things. Like I said, I was dealing with a little bit of bloat, and I'd also like to cut the sodium to ease off my water weight a little bit, especially now that I'm using creatine, which also tends to hold on to some water weight. But I'm gonna go eat, watch YouTube. I'll leave for the gym in about an hour. All right, just quickly put together my lunch this week. It is five ounces of ground turkey. I think it's 80-20 or 85-15. And then I have 200 grams of white rice and one serving of French style green beans. So macros up on the screen, pretty high protein. And I'll probably throw in a little bit of honey mustard on there until I run out. Then I might switch over to Dijon spicy mustard. But other than that, not a bad lunch, nothing too crazy. I'll probably throw down a navel orange yet again with it. You can see the whole bag sitting over there on the table. So getting ready to head to the gym to go do some cardio. Okay, so driving to the gym to go do my cardio. I, uh, I did my weigh-in this morning. I was at 205.2. And yet again, I know it's higher than last week, but I am just coming off of Thanksgiving, just dropped my sodium a little bit to try to cut back my water retention. And I just started doing creatine again, which ups your water retention a little bit. So obviously a few little factors in play. I'm not just gonna lose weight immediately. But uh, went for a good run over the weekend. Got about eight miles in total between two days. Uh, I think it was like five miles on the streets, 5K on trails. It was nice, it was good to get out. Weather has been surprisingly really good. We actually got a little bit of rain yesterday into this morning, so it's a little wet out today, but yeah. Coming off of Thanksgiving, hope everybody had a good one. Mine was pretty all right. We uh, had a pretty solid amount of food. My mashed potatoes came out great, or sweet potatoes, whatever you wanna call them. And uh, yeah, ready to get into the rest of the year. Honestly, I'm ready for this year to be done. It's been a stressful year. A lot going on. I feel like I piled a lot on my plate, but it's all good. We gotta be all right. 
Let me get to listen to some music, get my way to the gym, try to wake up a little bit. I'm absolutely exhausted, regardless of getting eight hours of sleep and uh, sleeping relatively well. So I don't know, but I'm gonna get to the gym, get this cardio done. All right, so pulled up to the gym. They had this bright ass light on the side of the building. And it's absolutely blinding me, but gonna go on the bike for 30 minutes, probably get about seven miles in. Last Friday, I did the treadmill on a incline of 12 and a half and speed of 2.8. That felt pretty good, but my feet and legs are still a little cooked. I did leg day on Friday and then did two days of running over the weekend. So I'll, uh, I'll take it easy on that today. But like I said, gonna go get this cardio done, knock that out. And I'll be back here tonight yet again at four o'clock to do my chest day workout. And I'll take you guys through that. So, all right, see you guys in eight hours. All right, 30 minutes of cardio complete, 7.1 miles, like 160, 170 calories burned, according to their metrics. According to Strava, it was like 14.1 miles per hour. Feels good. A big sun ball in the sky is up, so time to get to work. All right, all right, it is 4.07. We are free of the wage cage. That was the most Monday feeling Monday I've ever had, but it's time to hit the pre-workout, add a little L-citrulline to it for a little extra added pump. And we're gonna go train chest for about an hour. And it's gonna be a good day. So I'm pretty excited. Gonna be over at the gym in about 90 seconds. And uh, yeah, man, work was a killer. I actually kind of got a pump from just pushing rolls around all day. So pretty excited. Lunch was good, felt great on that. And uh, let's go get a killer chest bump, shall we? See you guys in a little bit. Well, shucks, boys and girls, that was a great chest workout. I don't know what it was, must be the full moon tonight, but I felt amazing. I did hit a couple numbers that I was really proud of, but there was also some things that I think I should work on. So a good day all in all. Turn the radio back off. So started off, I had a little bit of a weird shuffle around in the beginning of my workout. I hit my normal warm up that I do with a couple back rolls, a couple shoulder pullovers. I didn't record all that this time. You should have saw that last time. It doesn't change. But I had to wait for somebody to get done with the normal cable fly. So I did what normally is my mid chest cable flies. I did that on the pec deck. Felt pretty good. The lighting was immaculate over there for some reason i have no clue what was going on there i look pretty damn pretty damn dicey there i like it and uh after that i was able to get on to the cable flies like i like to and i hit some high angle cable flies to work the upper chest and then i worked some lower angle uh cable flies to work the lower half of the chest like rich piana says you can hit it multiple angles. That's the beauty of it. And I'm gonna do it, goddammit. So I did. Next up, I hit the dip machine. I've been liking this dip machine. I don't know. I used to not really be a fan of them, but I also, for some reason, my shoulders just don't like doing dips. After that, it was time to head over to the bench. And I started off with the incline press. This was my first small victory of the night. It has been a very long time since I went heavy on my incline press now to some of you 135 might not be that heavy but i was really happy to get 135 up for a couple of reps so i was pretty pretty pumped on that then i took it over to the bench press got a little bit uh little ballsy was feeling good and went for 185 like i said these numbers aren't crazy for somebody who lifts pretty regularly but somebody who just came off of marathon training and wasn't doing a lot of strength training prior 
I felt really good. Even though I only got 185 up for two and a half reps, I was still able to save it. So I feel feel pretty good on that. I was fighting the stability a lot. So something for me to work on. And then of course I finished off my workout the way I always do with a little bit of abs. Tonight I was feeling a little, I don't know, extra. So I did do my normal decline. I just didn't do nearly as deep of a decline as normal. And then I went over and did a bit of heavy weight on the ab crunch machine. I don't know what it is about this machine. It feels good. I get an okay contraction in my abs. So I just throw it in there every now and again when I'm feeling good. And tonight was one of those nights. All right, but the workout is done and successful. We're gonna go home. I'm gonna whip up some dinner, drink some water on the way home. I gotta pick up one little ingredient that I wanna try. I'm trying to do something that might make dieting so much easier for a lot of us. And I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll be the test dummy if it works. I will definitely be showing you guys this because, I mean, I'm gonna show you either way if it fails or succeeds, but this could be something that changes the game, helps us cut out a lot of fats and still makes salads more enjoyable. So I'll get back to you guys at the house. All right, bros, we are in the kitchen and we are gonna try to solve a problem. Tonight, I'm having a salad, doing a spinach, some shredded lettuce so we can get shredded mushrooms because I gotta love a good fibrous mushroom and I'll be throwing down a can of tuna now I love creamy dressings and obviously they are like the worst thing when you're trying to cut I got the Aldi brand light ranch now even this is 80 calories per serving which you have to measure it out first of all which that sucks and it is 70 grams of fat which According to the daily value percentage, that's just shy of 10% of what you should have in a day. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to blow all of those calories in just salad dressing. So before I try this, I'm going to try something else. I went to the store and I picked up some plain non-fat Greek yogurt, which this, for two-thirds of a cup, which you're not going to use, is 90 calories. So just shy of two tablespoons of dressing. Now I'll do the math, but I'm also going to throw in this ranch seasoning packet. So I read the back of it and it made me think, you could probably throw water in this and just mix it up. I don't know yet, so I'm gonna take a look, but it's only five calories per serving. So if I can somehow fuse these two together and possibly make a, let's just say, 45 calorie version of uh, ranch, that would be amazing because I've tried the Walden Farms zero calorie ranch and that stuff does not taste good. Like as bad as I may want ranch on a cut, I personally would rather be in the laboratory trying to mix something up with actual ingredients versus try that stuff. Cause dude, that stuff was just, it wasn't good. So I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try to figure out a good ratio and we'll see what we can do. Without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I just started, I did 90 grams of low fat or non-fat plain Greek yogurt and I did, I would say, probably about a gram of this packet. So there's still a lot left. Apparently there's 16 servings. An actual serving is 1.8 grams. I'm just going to round up and say I have five calories worth in there, but we're going to try it and see how it tastes. Now, the viscosity is very thick. Like, it's a pretty decent viscosity compared to, like, a regular low-fat ranch. So, and this is pretty... I think this is actually... This would be no-fat, right? Well, yeah, it's non-fat Greek yogurt. Duh. Harvard called. Uh, but let's see how this tastes. <laughs> he did it. Uh, dude, that tastes amazing. I'm gonna post a short sometime this week talking a little bit more about it, but that, dude, 100 grams, 90 grams of non-fat Greek yogurt, plus one of these little, a little bit of this salad dressing powder. I mean, I'm gonna try to figure out how to make like an actual ratio for it, but oh my God, dude, it's, it's amazing. And I would say this is probably, let's see, 90 grams. That's a little under half, yeah. So we're at about 45 to 50 calories for, I would say a hefty amount. Like, you look at that, that's, that's a lot of, a lot of ranch. So I would say absolutely killed it. 
and you could probably even put even more on there. So if you're somebody who likes to douse your salad and ranch, that might be the way. But I'm gonna put the calories and macros up on the screen with what my dinner contains. And I'll get back to you guys after I eat because I'm very hungry and I'm very excited to use this. Yep, so it is 8 p.m. I'm getting ready to settle in. Got my two scoops of protein with a little bit of low-fat milk. Gonna slug that down, take a shower, get ready for bed. I'll put my whole day of macros and calories up on the screen. Should be about 2,000 to 2,100 calories for the day. I forget the damn macros. I just looked a minute ago. But anyways, pretty high protein, relatively high carbs, and really low fats. I don't know. That's just kind of what is most comfortable for me. Get a good amount of fats in the morning so I can kind of digest slowly. But I forgot to mention uh, earlier, on my lunch break at work, I uh, decided to sign up for a 12 race winter racing series over at one of the state parks in Pennsylvania. So on the side of me also still doing my you know, lifting and all of that, obviously, like I said, I'm still going to be running a little bit, <clears throat> but this will be something to give me some tune-up races throughout the the winter, and I mean, it was only like $65 for 12 races because of a Cyber Monday deal they were doing, so should be a lot of fun. I'm only going to take a few of them like super, super seriously, like there's a couple half marathons and I think a 15K towards the end of the series. Those are going to take a lot more seriously, but I'm still going to put a good effort in for like the 5Ks, but I mean... Not running as much. I'm probably not going to perform as good as I'd like to, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be coming at you guys with another one of these in about a week. Not sure what day I'll do. Uh, comment below if you want to see a shoulder day, a leg day, or an arm day because that's all we got left. So anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.